All right, welcome back everyone to some more Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari. We're heading to Hungary now in round 12 of the season. We are trailing Red Bull by about 28 points or exactly 28 points. But Lewis Hamilton is ahead in the uh, driver's standing, so that is good. But today is a big one. Let's try and catch up to Red Bull and let's see if we can get Charles Leclerc to catch up to Max Verstappen and start fighting other drivers here in the driver's standing. If you guys are enjoying this series, of course, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below. I really do appreciate your support. All right, so of course, last time we asked the board members to drop in at the British Grand Prix and see how happy they will be with our result. Congratulations on achieving a fantastic result. Many of our members were impressed by the event, encouraged by the team's success. This has increased our confidence in your leadership as team principal. So that was fantastic. We also have regulation changes um, coming up. So gearbox limit has increased to five ers limit has increased by one and engine limit has increased by one sure let's vote for this proposition i think everyone has something to benefit from that all right so the world final is about to take place where we aim to boost interest in the science and engineering career path attending it will give us money so hell yes staff development pause for seven days i don't care i want that money all right regulation change votes are in and it has passed uh red bull mercedes were against it alfa romeo and aston martin as well but the remaining other teams voted for this so we will be increasing our engine regulations by one unit of each component okay here we go it's time for the hungarian grand prix weekend i'm sure both cars will make it into q3 and the qualifying position i want both cars in the top five i think we can manage that much this week and finishing position we want both cars in the top four that is always the ultimate aim with our cars and then qualifying streak is already set and without further ado let's jump into it hungarian grand prix by the end of free practice p5 and p6 we did miss out on a lot of running in fp2 because the gearbox busted itself it combusted and the car had to retire so unfortunately we did not do much running in fp2 but we made up for it in fp3 Setup satisfaction, not quite sure yet because we're walking into this one without having tested our final setup. It's 97% at the highest right now. Here we go. This is the step qualifying session. We start on the hards in this round and then we move on to the mediums in the next one. It's a 114.8 right now from Charles Leclerc. And then Hamilton goes a full second behind. Okay, Hamilton may have to do another lap here. I actually stayed in because I noticed that the sector times weren't improving by much. So Lewis Hamilton with only one lap does P11 uh, in on the hards. Joe, Sunoda, De Vries, Bottas, and Piastri are out. So moving on to the mediums now. All right, Leclerc is on a pretty good lap here. He's got purple sector one, green sector two. Really pushing here to cross the line to put himself P3. Not too bad. I think he did get impeded a bit by Stroll. And then P5 for Lewis Hamilton. Okay, that's solid. I think that should be good enough to see us through. Not too bad. P3 and P6 for our two drivers with Sergeant Norris Albon, Magnussen, and Hülkenberg out in Q2. Moving on to the final round on the softs. Two purple sectors for Leclerc with Hamilton on two green sectors. 114.3 is Leclerc's lap time. So let's bring these tires back. What about Hamilton? A tenth behind. Not bad. All right, then Leclerc on a green and yellow sector. Not quite sure if he will improve, but Lewis Hamilton looking good with two green sectors. Leclerc does not improve. What about Lewis Hamilton? He crosses the line. Can he beat his old... Nah, he can't. Stuck in P5. Shame. So we do have a bit of a job on our hands right now. P3 for Charles Leclerc, who will be promoted to P2. I think last show will be falling further down. So Lewis Hamilton will be up to P4 as well. But I think the objective was P5 or better. So I think we hit it, which is good. But moving on into the race itself, we'll see if our strategy pays off. All right. So this is the strategy we're going for. Medium, medium hards for Charles Leclerc. And then medium, hard, medium for Lewis Hamilton. The used mediums coming into play for the the start of Leclerc's run and then at the end for Lewis Hamilton we may convert to a soft at some point for Hamilton maybe the last stint can be soft depending on what kind of gap we can build so let's head on into this see how this Grand Prix plays out for us hoping for a good race here we go then green flags waved at the back the tire dig situation is going to be intense, so we got to make sure we make the most of this. All right, high overtake aggression. Let's get it. Rarely defend for both of you. We're on for a good chance here. Hamilton P4. 
The clear pro uh, uh, protecting P2 right now. Trying to at least, because Alonso's on the outside. Yellow flag, yellow flag, big crash. I don't care at this time unless it's transitioned into a VSC. But let's take a look at what happened behind us, I believe. Going all crazy. It looks like it's a Williams and Lando Norris. Ooh, it is a bit of a shunt. There's a bit of... Ooh, a lot of debris on track around turn three, I believe. Okay, but we continue. How's Lewis Hamilton faring? Trying to get close to Fernando Alonso. It is Albon with a time penalty. Five second time penalty. Okay, Albon with a five second time penalty. But let's keep going here. Need to stay close. Uh, Leclerc unable to stay close to Perez, who is absolutely running away with it on those softs. But let's try and stay close, Leclerc. I have faith in you. Ooh, another yellow flag. Multiple cars crashed. Oh dear, it's sector one. Okay, it's all chaos behind us. Oh wow, great focus there. It's Max Verstappen. It's Max Verstappen and the Alpine. Oh my gosh, there is a traffic jam appearing there. Oh no. How did Max Verstappen fall so far back? Maybe he's taking grip penalties on a new engine or something. Alright, let's harvest or save these tires a bit and harvest. Okay, we might lose out to Signs here, who gets ahead on DRS. That's fine. We'll try and stay close to Signs. And harvest as much we can. Because it is lap 5. At the end of this lap, they will be stopping the push. Alright, Hamilton needs to push now. Let's go. Let's get this DRS and make this move with the tires and the fuel. Come on. Second DRS zone. Can we make the move here? Why are you stuck behind this guy? Come on, make the move on the open side. We might have to tell him clean air. Uh, kind of. Let's see. Yep, up the inside. Oh, close. There we go. Gets past. Nice. And Leclerc needs to prepare a push as well. So let's get ready. Hamilton, I need you to close in on Alonso, and then Leclerc, we need to get ready to push closer to Perez. Alonso is catching up, which is a worry. But I'm hoping that Hamilton can cause problems. Yellow flag, yellow flag. But that was just a brief moment. Verstappen running wide, no big deal. Perez struggling with his tires here, 45%. He's been really pushing on those softs, hasn't he? Um, we're okay on tires for now. We're going to charge up behind him. Try and stay in this DRS gap. Give him a little more tires. Come on, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there, buddy. Stay in there. All right, Hamilton, you have to stay in there as well, please. Ah, uh, Hamilton misses out. But Leclerc has DRS, which is good. Oh, yellow flag, no! Leclerc locked up. Leclerc locked up. Oh, shucks. Oh, no, this is bad. Shucks. Leclerc, I told you to chill on the tires. Two, it's okay that he did not crash the car. So we need to work on something for Leclerc now. His tires are done. Okay, let's shift him over to the hards now. This is plan, I don't know, Z at this point. Let's pit him for hards right now. I know it's a strategy conflict, but we need to make this move now go long on the hards and then we'll move over to the mediums at the end all right Hamilton you do you let's bring them in let's see what happens here first one to pull the trigger on a pit stop please tell me our pit crew does well 2.6 I'll take definitely a decent one down to uh, can he get Okay, he's just behind Ocon, which is not bad. Okay, here we go. I cannot use the tires. Perez in the pits. Perez, what is he moving on to? Mediums by the looks of it. Okay. Hamilton takes the lead. Good. Overtakes Alonso. Leclerc is closing in on Perez. Let's see if the undercut did not work as much as I'd like it to, but did catch up a bit, I think. We're at like 2.8 seconds. Yeah. 
almost three seconds to Pettis. So Leclerc, you keep pushing, doing your thing. Oh yes, we get DRS as Alcon peels into the pits. No, we do not. Okay, strange how we don't get DRS. We should. But it is what it is. Here we go. Leclerc trying to move on the Haas with ease. Gets past Russell and Alonso as they exit the pits. And he's up to P4. Let's go. Let's try and build a gap. Push a bit. As for Hamilton, he's pushing right now to try and make it into the pits. think he will release... Um, possibly behind in this gap. Maybe further back. We'll see. Hamilton's in. Norris has a pit stop issue. Hopefully no pit stop issue for us. Knock on wood. Come on Tifosi. Root us on. Onto the hards. 2.7. Not too bad. This is perfect. Okay. Where are Alonso and Stroll? There is our teammate. What happens here? Alright. Teammate falls right behind. This is good. Ooh. Fight. Fee. This is feisty. Okay, we got Lance Stroll making moves ahead of us. That's fine. He's really pushing on those tires. It's all about the tire game here. He is really rinsing through those tires right now. Strange. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. Well, we are conserving our tires, saving some fuel, relaxing. Because we got no real threat here. Uh, we're just going to maintain pace. Lance Stroll is going to burn through his tires, maybe even crash out. Lovely scenes. Um, and we're just going to keep managing everything we have. Oh, yellow flag, yellow flag. So Multiple cars crashed. It looks like Verstappen is no... Oh, Verstappen is P13. I don't think it's Verstappen involved. Let's see. It's an Alfa Romeo and an Alfa Tauri. Oh, it's Sonoda and Joe, is it? Or I didn't see what number of car that was. Sonoda crashes and rear ends. The Alfa Romeo. Alright, Perez is about five seconds up the road. We are managing everything we have right now. Ca caught up to Stroll again because he's burned through his tires. Time penalty for Sonoda. Nice. Okay, Perez is in the pits now. He was leading, but his tires are dead, I think, like 32%. Moves on to the hards. Okay. So that's good. Hamilton and Leclerc up to P2, P3 respectively. Perez has completed all pit stops now. So he is on the hards. We are going to have the pace advantage at the end. I think I'm going to let Hamilton see this out and then possibly move on to the softs around lap 55. Stroll in the pits as well. His medium tires are done. I'm assuming he's going to go for the hards here. It should be the hards. Indeed it is. He has a struggle with the front left. Thank you very much. Love you, Aston Martin. I love you. Absolutely love it. Okay, Perez is really pushing on his tires. Why? Mate, there's a long way to go in this Grand Prix. Why are you pushing so hard? Interesting. But I think we're on track, so I'm not too worried here. Leclerc will need to pit soon, so let's actually attack with Leclerc and pit him this lap for the mediums. Fresh mediums going on. He's going to have the pace advantage over Pettis for sure. So let's push with whatever ERS he has left. Bring him in. See what kind of pit stuff he can receive from the team here. Here we go. In he comes. Please... Ferrari. Here we go, boys. Nice. 2.7. Not bad. Not bad. That's a decent stop. And out he comes ahead of Alonso. Solid. That is exactly what we needed. Okay, Perez is trying to take the lead here on Hamilton. Nearly crashing into Hamilton here. Alright, Perez. Is Hamilton defending? He's rarely defending, but he is defending pretty well. Okay. This is good. This is good. Keep him at bay, Hamilton. Ruin Perez's race a little bit. I think Perez is going to overtake us here, which is fine. I think we will be able to catch him on the softs. It'll be tight, but I think it's totally possible. Because Perez is not much faster than we are right now. 
But he does take the lead. Ooh, yellow flag. Hold on, VSC, VSC, VSC. VSC deployed. Okay, let's pit for fresh softs. In we come. All right. This is huge. This is massive. All right, Leclerc, you save your tires and conserve some fuel as well. VSC deployed. Alonso just overtook Leclerc before this VSC got deployed. Tsunoda crashed into turn nine. Okay, what happened here? I guess Tsunoda just lost the car really into the barriers. Might be a DNF for him. Nah, I think, oh yeah, it's a DNF for him. Now the question is, does Leclerc have a big enough gap to pit for softs? Uh, possibly, possibly here. Hamilton's in the pits right now. Let's see, he should be well ahead of Stroll, by the way. Good stop, 2.8. Okay, I think Leclerc is too late. Yeah, I'll keep him on the mediums, that's fine. Leclerc should still have the pace. Okay, Stroll's ahead. But he should be ahead of Alonso. This is marvelous. Great stuff from the team. Okay, virtual safety car ending. Virtual safety car ending. Let's begin a push then. There we go. We resume racing. Let's push. Warm the tires up. Let's get it. Let's get that position back, Leclerc. Let's get Alonso back. Okay, Leclerc around the inside. Perfect. That's what we love to see. Let's go aggressive on the tires and try to pull a gap. Okay, the battle between Leclerc and Alonso is getting feisty here. Let's see if Leclerc can make the move without having to use any weapons. Not yet. Let's give him neutral. Uh, mode race for battery for Hamilton. He's closing in on Stroll. These guys have been burning their tires pretty fast. This is going to get close though because I am also burning my tires a bit at the end here. But hopefully, hopefully we can catch up to Perez. We'll see. Get out of the way, Alfa Romeo. Get out of the effing way, bro. All right. Can we make the move on? St <sighs> Hamilton, you're scaring me there, buddy. You're scaring me. All right. Let's try a generic move here. Come on, use those tires to your advantage. These guys are struggling on the hards, man. There we go. Up the inside. Make the move. Good. Up to P2. Keep pushing. Save a bit of tires. Leclerc, I think, will get P4. There's nothing I can do to get out or get closer to Stroll, I think. He is almost level. Three laps to go. All right, well, this is it. Perez is on his final lap. Leclerc closing in on Stroll. I'll go full attack then. And then for the second half of the lap, maybe we can push. Okay, Lewis, I think, will settle for P2. Leclerc, on the other hand, is closing in. Okay, I'm going to go balance or even conserve on the fuel here for the final turn. ERS is empty. Ah, just missing out on podium, I think, for Leclerc. Ah, shame. But that was good. P2, P4. I'll take it. Especially with uh, Leclerc's lockup costing him a lot of time. This is a solid performance from us. But Stroll. Who let Stroll cook and who let Pettis cook, man? Who let Pettis cook? Hi. P4 is okay. P4 is not bad. Could have gone P3. Maybe I should have pushed a little earlier. I don't know. Wow, what a fantastic drive from Lewis Hamilton. That's a well-earned result. From the factory and on the pit wall, that's a podium for the whole team. It's hugs all round for the team. In fact, they all deserve a pat on the back as well for everything that they've achieved. And Lewis Hamilton takes to the podium once more, adding yet another trophy to his legacy. That's an amazing number of podiums now this season. They just keep coming. And as far as those three are concerned, well, they'll be leaving Budapest hungry for more.
As far as Ferrari are concerned, Karun, how do you think they'll be feeling after that race? They'd certainly be pleased to have made the podium. A job well done for sure. And that then marks the end of our time here in Hungary. Next time, the teams will be adding another year to the legend of Spa Francorchamps. Anything can happen at the Belgian Grand Prix. Now, not bad for the two drivers, Hamilton and Leclerc. Stroll made up nine positions to get on the podium. Wow, that is fascinating. Perez, Hamilton and Stroll on the podium. Leclerc lost two positions in P4. Alonso, Sainz, Russell, Ocon, Verstappen and Hürgenberg round out the finishers in the points. Magnussen, Gasly, Sergeant, Albon, Piastri, Norris, De Vries, Bottas and Joe round out the finishers with Tsunoda crashing out and causing that VSC that kind of helped us, I would say. Lewis Hamilton did benefit a little from that. But we are losing ground. 20 points in it between Perez and Hamilton. Hamilton needs to start winning some races again. Hopefully some upgrades coming soon. Leclerc catching up quite a bit. 44 points now between Verstappen and Leclerc. 11 points profit, you could say, between Verstappen and Leclerc. So that is good to see. We are slowly catching as well. 31 points. So four more points earned today, meaning we close in about four points. What about pit stop? Charlotte Claire with a 2.6 had a solid pit stop up into P6, which is good. And we scored some points, but not moving any higher than P7. Yeah, that was some decent pit stops today. Consistent pit stops, not great. But 4.6 mil made, 600k given out in bonuses. So that means 3.9 mil in profit. I'll take that.